you could tell at the end of yesterday I wasn't particularly in a good way. Maybe all is not lost just yet. Because, viewers, even though we cannot win any of the kind of titles that are involved in the matching Mourinho criteria, we aren't exactly out of the title race yet. And more importantly is that we have overtaken everyone in the chance to get Champions League football. We're now six points ahead of Milan, who we play today. And, of course, the reason for that is because there's been a whopping run of form since the last time that we met. I say a whopping run of form. Um, we did draw 0-0 with bottom place Spal. That kind of just typified where we were at that point. But then after that, a 6-1 win against Sampdoria, and suddenly everything's coming at Millhouse. 6-1, 4-3, 2-0, 3-1, 4-0, including wins over Atalanta and Roma. So we've hit form at the right time. Today we've got Milan and potentially Torino as well, depending on highlights. Um, then we've got Sassuolo, Benevento and Bologna to finish off the season. We're currently only five points off of Inter and top, and we do have a game in hand over Napoli and Juventus. So we win our game in hand today, we overtake Juventus and go into third. I still don't think we're going to win the title, but it's not over, and that's the most important thing. So we have to go off and make sure we do our job today, which is beating Milan. If we beat Milan, I'd like to say that we've guaranteed ourselves Champions League football, and then we can kind of see where we go from there. The problem that I've got is that 42-goal Chimiti is injured, and he's in, going to be injured for another two to five days, so he may well be back in time um, for the game against, uh, oh my God, Torino. Torino, that's the one. Sorry, Torino fans, I haven't forgotten you. I don't know if any Torino fans will be watching this save. If you are, hello. Please like, share and subscribe. But it seems that when we've kind of gone back to what I know best, this is where we start playing quite well. We've gone back to the diamond, gone back to the kind of midfield three. Quissons has like, slotted in really nicely now in that advanced playmaker role. You can tell there's a lot of big green arrows between him, Torreira and McKendy, who, by the way, has suddenly taken off in terms of form. I'm playing a lot more like the player I knew we could get. I've also reunited Basia and Vuskovic, and that's made a massive difference. So Dechegli is in goal, and you've got Balde, Basia, Vuskovic, and Ranch, who's come back in at right back as well. Pereira, not quite as good as I thought he would be. Uh, Torreira, McKendy, Quissant, and you've got Trinkau supporting Juranovic, and Lamatza, who makes his start today, considering the fact, obviously, that Chimiti is injured and is unavailable. It's been an interesting season and one that I I would never call it a waste. But if I can come away with it with Champions League football, getting somewhere near to the title again, going out to Bayern Munich without losing, there's no shame in that. I think that potentially I might stay one more season. Maybe. I've built something really good here. And in, in Juranovic and Chimiti, I've got arguably the best front two in world football and I don't really want to lose that but away we go then you can tell that they've got a couple of decent signs here Mobley is now playing for them so is Divock Origi who's particularly quite good on this game I don't know why but he is um, Ranch plays into Juranovic here we made a very good start as Lamatza misses but I think it was offside anyway they've still managed to keep Donnarumma which is impressive they've still got Ron Magnoli they've got Victor Lindelof Lazari's a very good player Lee Kangin's good Fakir's obviously excellent um, they've scored but that's okay because it's offside They've got a lot of very good players of Milan, but we should, I don't know, without Chimiti, are we that good? We'll find out today. This is time for Lamatta to step up and prove why he deserves a place in the team. He's very much been third fiddle so far this season. He's not played badly when he's come on, and he's a decent player, but is he, he's not Chimiti and Juranovic standards put it that way but then having said that you know it took them a little while to kind of get up to the standard that they are so you have to give him a chance and we have to be fair had the only two shots of the game so far Pasir and Rancher both picked up yellows though I mean, Claudio the matter is injured I mean that's just terrific well at least this is where flexibility comes in down so you're out of it to have to leave the line from Cow and Cliver are going to have to come on. Uh, sorry, as in Clive going to have to come on for him. He's going to go sit out on that left-hand side. At least we've got a ready-made formation for this sort of inevitability. But I don't like it because our front three or our front two are so good together. And it works so well in the system. That I'm a little concerned now as Mobley gets in behind. He doesn't tend to... I was going to say he doesn't tend to miss. And he, he hasn't. That is simply a world-class goal. Um... I, mean, I don't know what to say. That We change formation instantaneous. That's borderline off. Oh, maybe not Valdez. I mean, that is such a good set. Such a good shot. 
It's going to set such a good save. Not even close to being a good save. It's going to make it very close in the battle for the top four. And all but rules us out of the title race if we can't win this game. Vuskovic heads clear. I mean, they've got the, the bit between their teeth now at the moment. And we're struggling to contain them. No Trimiti, no party. I've got a bit of an issue here now. We've won like fuck. I hate turning the camera on. Torreira's off. Just the most unnecessary tackle you will ever see. I guess that's basically a much better showing. I mean, what am I meant to do? The Matza gets injured. Torreira decides he's going to have a moment and just gets himself sent off. I've no idea what he's doing. What is he playing at? It's going to be a miracle to get something out of this now. Cliver on the ball. This is a good play by him. Tease it to Quissons. Miracles happen. Mikel Quissons is a great signing. It's his first goal for the club. I mean, what a way to get your first goal. Justin Cliver comes on with a brilliant assist. I'll take a draw right here, right now. I love this from Cliver up against their uh, their right back. He just skinned him. He picks out a beautiful pass, but it's all about the hit. I mean, that is pure. A, as pure a strike as you will ever see. Justin Cliver is making... He's a game changer. Right, okay. An hour gone. Time to make some changes. Uh, Trincao's going to come off because he's not been particularly good. And by that, I mean he's been absolutely atrocious. Uh, Demi and Aim is going to come on. He's going to sit back in there. We're going to go to a slightly different sort of formation now, if it will let me. It's not. There we go. So we're going to go to a kind of 4-3-2 formation here. And I'm going to get Clive playing up as a false nine in behind Uranovic, seeing if maybe he can make some runs um, just to give him some support. Uh, McKendy is knackered, so is Mikhail Quissons, but they're both having decent games, so I can't really take either of them off so far. I've only got to survive another 20 minutes. I'll say that this is a good point, and we walk away. This is it now. We go to the end with what we've got. I would say if we get to the end here, it's been a very, very good performance against the odds. We've turned it around. We've done brilliantly to get something out of this game if it stays as it is. Which it looks like it may well do. Time is ticking away. We've done all we can. I can add... Oh, no. There's a highlight. Please let this be a goal for us. I can't see it happening. Can you? Come on, Aim. You've got to do better. You've got to do better. You're one of the fresh guys. You've got to do better there. Kangin to Kessie, Kessie Gravenberch. Oh, such a poor ball out. For a guy who's meant to... He's offside, thank God. I mean, I've got so many issues with what just happened there. No way. Come on, boys. Gravenberch, last minute. Awful cross. Absolutely awful cross. Don't you dare. Bardi, Immobile. I don't believe it. How much time has he added on here? Whistle should go there, really. Basia nearly. It's just tired. And Shiro Mobile has won it with two moments of quality. And we're back in a top four battle again. I've got so many issues with that. Lamats is out for three to four weeks. I don't know what to say. Torino a seventh as well. I mean, oh... We had a point. Should I have changed my tactics? You know what happens when you change them, though. Nothing bloody happens. Just had a youth report in. There's a couple of decent players in there. Quain Awosu looks like he could be quite good. Not that good, though, really. We've been quite lucky in recent years that we've had some decent ones, but not that time. That's a pretty poor haul, to be fair. This game against Torino now is massive because Milan are only three points behind us. I've still got some difficult fixtures. Bologna away is the one that stands out to me. Sassuolo isn't going to be a walk in the park either. Neither is this. There's no walk in the park games. All we had to do was survive five seconds. It's literally all I had to do. The Champions League is such an important part for this club financially. If I'm not in the Champions League, I can't stay here. I cannot stay here if there's no Champions League football. I'm already isolating areas and stuff I think I need to improve on for next year. And I'm pretty sure you can imagine where they are. And yes, it's defensive though, especially at centre-back. I think Basia and Vuskovic are good, but they're not going to win you Champions Leagues. Well, one good bit of news is that Chimiti is fit and available again. The bad news, obviously, is that Torreira is suspended, as is Devon Branch. So, I mean, who am I going to use? to? I'm going to have to bring on Pulu, I think. will probably have to be my man that goes in there. I mean, we're a little bit... 
short, it's safe to say. But I, I believe in Nikola Pulu, he's, or Nikolai Pulu, he's barely been involved, to be fair, this season. Um, now would be a good time to turn up and do something good, mate. Torino are seventh. So this is going to be hard. Really, really hard. Other than that, I'm really happy with the way the team's playing. I could just deal with us just, just getting a win out of this game. Get that the cobwebs out of the system of that defeat. I mean, it's a little bit of a kick clash, but we'll go with it. I mean, that's a great ball to Roberto Lopez. I don't want to talk about De Sheglia in goal. Let's not talk about that attempt at a save, shall we? It hits the post. We're so lucky that hasn't gone in. De Sheglia apparently is playing at seven. How? Unless he tipped that onto the post, but it didn't look like he did. Well, there's a highlight just before half-time. As McKendy finds Balde, he's usually got good delivery. It is Juranovic. I mean, he should have... Well, I mean, it's hard, and he's trying to hit it through like ten thousand men there on the line. But I expected a bit more from him, a bit more composure. And now there's another highlight before half time. It's all kicking into gear just before the half time whistle goes. We cannot afford to concede, but we've started conceding. We're doing stupid things before half time. That's better from Deshaglia. That's a good save. Ricardo Pereira is a clown. He's playing at six point four again. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with that performance at all. I'm going to change Ricardo Pereira to a fullback and put him on support. Maybe he just doesn't like the wingback defend role, but you're going to have to learn, mate. You're going to have to learn to like it because that's how we play. I know, I've got so many things that need fixing in this bloody team. Just get a goal. We'll get a 1 0. Get out of here. I really don't want this to get any closer than it needs to. Trincao is just having an absolutely rotten time of it at the moment. I'm still going to put him out wide then and keep him on. Pulu's going to come off. And you know what time it is. It's Justin Clive at time. The only guy that ever seems to make an effing difference when I bring him on. 44. You know the drill. You know the drill by now. We all do. Pereira into Trincao. Come on, a bit of quality. And that's that's not the quality I'm looking for. Trincao, that's better. Bowed. Hits it. Gertrude Alejandro Balde. Obviously, for me, signing of the season. He's been so damn good. Trincao gets an assist after doing absolutely sweet FA. It's a good ball, and it's it's terrible goalkeeping. This is, like, Campo-esque. Gasparini's got to do better there. He's got to tip, tip that tip, tip, tip that wide. Uh, Chimiti's going to come off. Not been his day, and I'm going to bring on Demi and Aim. Aim's going to sit in that little number 10 position. We're going to go to a 4-2-3-1. I know everyone don't, don't get too excited. Demi and Aim on the ball. Aim, lovely little bit of play there from him. Graven Birch. Back to Quissance, to Kluivert, Justin Kluivert, Juranovic, nearly, 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 nearly. We're going for the kill, trying to get that second. I understand it, but, I don't know, corner, Quissance whips it in. It's an awful corner. What, don't, don't let us get caught out like this. Well done, Ricardo Pereira. I was going to say, well done, Ricardo Pereira. At least he cleared it and it's gone just wide. Not, we're not convincing would be the word I would use. Not convincing. But at the moment, we're winning. It's all I care about. Four minutes of our time are up. Thank you, ref. No more additional time like last time. Gotta say, the officials this year have pissed me right off. We've not had a lot of luck with the officiating, it's safe to say, so far this year. A win is important. We qualify for the Europa League, which is something. Uh, Basia has reached his yellow card limit. I can cope with that because I can't who we're playing next. I think it's Sassuolo, is it? I mean, that's actually going to be quite difficult. But the most important thing then, guys, is that we are still in the top four. Hopefully, if Milan don't win their games, we'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. Should we quickly play on and see how Milan get on in their game, actually? Should we do that? Yes! Sampdoria got a draw against Milan. That is top notch. So their win against us is kind of like now null and void because that is five points in terms of the gap. Who have they got left to play? Who have they got left to play? Empoli, Atalanta and Udinese. I would expect them to get maximum points from that. But the important thing now is that we've got a little bit of a gap between us and them and we can afford to drop points, which I can see happening in the two away games. But I could be wrong. We will see. Because in terms of where we come back, then we'll come back on the final day and see where we are at. It could well be playing Bologna for a place in the top four. I hope it's not that, but we'll find out. If I get two more wins, we've guaranteed it again, which would be amazing. Champions League football is imperative for this club and the way that we are operating at the moment. You can tell now that the kind of balance is beginning to dwindle a little bit. And that's why I need the Champions League revenue to keep coming in. I can keep recycling the squad, keep 
bringing in players, selling them on for big money, and moving on from there. But it's been an okay episode. Title is now officially gone, but not the worst episode in the world. I hope you agree with that. If you have enjoyed the episode, then please, of course, do drop a like on the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until I see you again for the season finale tomorrow, even though there's no titles to play for, it'll still be interesting. Stay cool.